Throughout our lifetime, there have been dozens of fantastic cookies that have come and gone on store shelves for various reasons. Perhaps the company went out of business or they didn't sell quite as well as they expected. Either way, it often leaves us disappointed. In this video, we will take a look back at some of the cookies that are no longer around. In the 1980s, there was a soft cookie war that was taking place, and Keebler had the right weapon for the battle. Keebler Magic Middles were a shortbread cookie that was stuffed with fudge or peanut butter. They quickly found a fan base when they debuted in the 1980s. Fans have been demanding the product's return since it was discontinued. There have been several times where Keebler has hinted at bringing them back, but there are no official plans to do so. Nabisco's weapon in the soft cookie war was the almost home variety. They had an entire line of chewy cookies at the peak of the 1980s soft cookie era. Their slogan was, cookies that taste so homemade you can almost taste the recipe. Burry Gaucho cookies were a peanut butter cream sandwich cookie that was similar to a Nutter Butter. This New Jersey brand also made the exact same cookie for the Girl Scouts. Another favorite from Burry was Mr. Chips, which was a chocolate chip cookie. For a while, they were serious competition for Chips Ahoy. Perhaps no one food encapsulates the 1990s low-fat diet fad better than Snackwell's did. The brand's fat-free devil's food cookie cakes were marketed as a healthier alternative to traditional snacks, despite the fact that they were still loaded with high-fructose corn syrup and carbohydrates. These treats became less popular when the low-fat craze gave way to the low-carb Atkins diet in the 2000s. The Snackwell brand was officially retired in 2022, leaving some people still craving the fudge and marshmallow-covered chocolate cake cookies. Over the years, Oreo has released a slew of limited-edition flavors, but none of them have made a splash quite like Magic Dunkers did. It hit the shelves in 2000 and it would leave behind blue swirls when dunked in milk. This magic food coloring had no effect on the flavoring of the cookie or the milk. Cookie lovers may remember this quirky snack from the 1980s. Nabisco's Giggles were a sandwich cookie that had holes in the shape of a smiling face. Each cookie had a chocolate and vanilla cream center that seemed to give eyes to pupils and the mouth's teeth. These fun cookies may have been discontinued, but they haven't gone away without a fan following, hoping and wishing that they would someday make a comeback. Burry's Fudge Town sandwich cookies were a chocolate lover's dream. They had flower-shaped chocolate cookies with a fudge filling that overflowed through the hole on top. They were a hit in the 1960s and 70s, but they are no longer around. Dizzy Grizzlies became popular during the 1990s and they were the cool extreme sports loving older brother to Teddy Grahams. The cookie itself consisted of a bear shaped graham cracker coated with chocolate and sprinkles on one side. The bears were depicted as skiing, skateboarding and taking part in other athletic activities that were played up in the marketing. Ritz Bits S'mores sandwiches featured a chocolate and marshmallow flavored filling that was sandwiched between its classic buttery crackers. They really were more of a cookie rather than a cracker. These treats were discontinued in 2016, but they did make a brief return in 2022 as a giveaway. Sunshine Lemon Cookies were a delicate lemony cookie that was discontinued when the company merged with Keebler. People have been seeking a copycat version ever since. Lunchables are pretty much an iconic lunchbox meal from the 1990s and the cookies and frosting packs enjoyed the same success. These decorate your own cookie kits came with two cookies and sweet spreadable icing that you could smear yourself. They came in chocolate, s'mores and more, but the blue sugar icing was the winner. Oreos are one of the most popular cookie brands in the store. They seem to make their way into countless dessert recipes, but even the chocolate sandwich cookie brand isn't immune to product cancelizations. 
The mega-sized Oreo Big Stuff cookie isn't on shelves anymore, though you can still get an oversized Oreo cookie in products like the Klondike Oreo Ice Cream Sandwich. Yum Yums were a 1970s favorite that consisted of a sweet mix of coconut, chocolate, and caramel that was somewhat like a Girl Scout Samoa cookie. They were discontinued when Keebler bought out the maker Sunshine. Planters came out with their own cookies in 1992 that were peanut shaped and had a peanut butter cream on the inside. Despite their popularity, they were discontinued in 1995. Moon Pie Crunch were like an original Moon Pie, but they had crunchy cookies inside. They still had the creamy filling and chocolate covering that made them famous. Sadly, this crunchy version seems to have disappeared from store shelves over the past few years. Star Wars cookies were made by Pepperidge Farm and they were similar to Teddy Grahams. They came in vanilla, chocolate, and even peanut butter. But not even the power of the Force could save these cookies from disappearing. Chips Ahoy Fudge Bites were a limited edition cookie. Basically, they were a chocolate chip cookie that was topped with a single smooth fudge center. They first appeared in 2009 and they have been on and off the market a few times. The Crispo Biscuit Company out of Clifton, New Jersey made several different types of cookies. They became popular for their English style cookies, but they also got into the chocolate chip cookie market. These cookie varieties were quite a hit during the 1950s. Nabisco's famous chocolate wafers was another cookie that tons of fans had trouble parting with. They were popular to eat as a snack with your coffee or tea, but people also used them to make a crust for pies and cakes. This thin cookie was a favorite for those that needed a base for a chocolate mousse pie. Sadly, this cookie is no longer on the shelves. There are very few people around that don't know what an Oreo is, and over the years, many people have enjoyed them since they were first created in 1912. However, it was an imitation of the Hydrox cream-filled chocolate sandwich cookie, which first debuted in 1908. They were first produced by the Sunshine Biscuits Company until they were acquired by Keebler in 1996. The Kellogg Company then took them over in 2001, and they had them until 2014. At that time, Leaf Brands acquired the Hydrox cookie and the war against the Oreo has been going on ever since. In 2018, Leaf Brands filed a lawsuit against Oreo for hiding Hydrox cookies on the store shelves. If you are lucky enough, you may still see these Hydrox cookies on store shelves, but they certainly are not everywhere. Cookies are certainly one of the sweeter things in life and most of us enjoy having one from time to time but some of them are never coming back. So make sure you take time to enjoy your favorite store-bought cookie. You never know, it might be the last time you ever get to eat it. What was your favorite store-bought cookie? Let us know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. <music>